northwest of Arkell on the A838 near the place called the Multi College Stop. And here you can see three different rock types here. There's the grey rock, that's Louisian gneiss, so that's about three billion years old. There are these black rocks, these are dikes, they were of scoury age, so they're about two and a half billion years. Then there are these pink rocks that cut through both the Louisian gneiss and the scoury dike, so they must be the latest, and they're thought to be Laxfordian in age, so that's about 1.7 billion years. Now it's quite difficult to see the cross-cutting relationships here because they've all been deformed afterwards. It's easiest to see with the granite because they started off as straight dikes. So if we just look at those pink rocks, uh, the Laxfordian granites, they look like this and you can see they look a little bit like a string of sausages. So here's a sausage, another sausage, another one. And this is because they've been broken up as they've stretched during the deformation. And we can use these strings of sausages to reconstruct how these dikes looked before it was deformed. So we can slide them back, we can say that all of this bit is deformation, all that stretched part here and this bit here is deformation. So we can slide them back to where they were originally. So if I just look at the sausages, they look something like that. And if we slide it backwards, so we're running time backwards, they end up lining up very nicely and making these sets of dikes like this, which we would have been cutting through both the uh, scoury basalt dikes and the Louisian gneiss. So the history here is these uh, Louisian gneisses, which were under a mountain three and a half billion years ago to become these deformed gneiss. Then they were intruded by these basalts about a billion years later, two and a half billion years ago. And then almost a billion years after that, these dikes intruded. And then all of that was stretched again in another episode of deformation. So there's over two billion years of deformation here. 